Hey, hey, everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. We have got a great shave for you today. This is the last shave before my Christmas shave, and then when I do my Christmas shave, Matt Fox, I am sending you that carved bison. I'm sorry, I told you I'd do it sooner, but I'm saving it for that Christmas shave. All right, guys, look what we're using. The Aquamarine, woo! I'm excited. All right, Noble Otter Queen. That's what we're using. I'm gonna put up the base ingredients. Price point is $20 for this. And the scent notes are marigold, honey, jasmine, ylang ylang, benzoin, and musk. Now you know my, my sniffer's not totally perfect, but I can smell things now and I'll tell you my impression, but you heard the scent notes. I get a nice floral, honeysuckle kind of smell. I think the honey with the jasmine gives me that. and It's not synthetic. I haven't gotten musk or anything, but we'll see since I've lathered it up and when I apply it on the face, we have the matching splash and you know the splash can change. Our shave ridge this evening is Boylan, Boylan Bottling Company Black Cherry. Real cane sugar has a good crisp pop. If you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. Ah, wet the face. We'll trim the goatee up before the Christmas shave. We are going to be doing a top 10 soaps. I've been getting them together. I did get a lot of soaps this year, it turns out. One of them I did order that I had a sample of. It's going to make the list, but I don't think that soap's going to get here before I make that video. We use the Samoog. I'll put the Samoog whatever at the bottom. Um, it's the one I got. I got it from Amazon. Look at this. Beautiful slather. So we're just gonna. Ooh, yeah, it, it's opening up a little bit brighter and floral. Definitely digging that. Y'all know I'm interested in Noble Otter card series. It's just uh, what I'm all about. Man, look, I think there's water in my knot. Nope, just felt like it was dripping. Um. This was supposed to be geared for women, but I don't know that I, 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 I like honeysuckle and this is no more female than son of honeysuckle or ethos honeysuckle. So if you like those scents, no need for you to feel like this is a feminine scent. All right, set that down. Wipe the hands dry and we are using a new razor. I did not do an unboxing with this razor because the person sent it to me and it's one of those, hey man, I'm sending this to you, don't give me a shout out. I got like five, six people that do that. I get it. I've sent some things to some channels and asked not to shout it out. We do have a Gillette Ruby first use. This is supposed to be a very mild shaver. Huh. I think I got a nick or something over here. We'll just go ahead and scratch that scab off. All right. I'll kind of show you the razor a little bit better. You notice there's no overhang. There's a good distance between the edge of the blade. The cap's kind of scalloped here. Can y'all see that? How it's a little scalloped and different. Um, it is a two-piece. I like how the grip is like, you could say fingerprint or topography map. But it's the Mula Companion. Um, this does pull like this. And I guess it's so... You can replace the strap if it dry rots and breaks. Um, I assume it's to like hang in the shower for shower shavers. Pretty cool. You can get the loops in different colors, but this will dry rot at some point. Especially if you are keeping it in the shower and fully submerging it in water. It's quite a long handle in my opinion. I don't usually go for longer handles. This was at the Razor Company for a while, and I was very interested in getting it. It's like $48.99, like right at $50 bucks for an uh, alloy razor. And I kind of, it's like $50, y'all know my thing. 
I don't like using like the zinc alloy or something for 50 bucks. I just, it's like, uh, at that price point I can get better. But it's a, it's a good looking razor. I like the way this looks. So I am happy they sent it to me. Thank you. I've never used a Mula. I may get the Fatip Retro. It's something I've always wanted. And I don't like, like I said, don't like buying pot metal, but... We may pick that one up. This is very mild. And I wouldn't say it's the most efficient. We got about two days worth of growth. The bison's definitely more efficient. Practically just as mild. In a different way. Don't know how to explain it. Kind of do this a little. I do like my aquamarine. I'm excited about having it. It's nice to have to the den. It'll definitely be the bowl I'm using for a while. I like using other bowls. I mix it up. I know the captain's choice has been in the rotation, but that's just because that's what's sitting out. You know, I like to switch it up. But sometimes it's like, hey, this bowl's out. That's what we're going to use. And my videos aren't about featuring the bowl, you know? New soap, new razor, new bowl this time, but like, you don't need to be featuring the bowl when you got new soaps, new aftershave, new razor, new blades, whatever it may be. Pretty cool though, I mean, if you want, you can always be like, Ooh. Pretty cool. I don't know. You can be the razor slinger, not a gun slinger. One thing is when it's not, when you have that extra right there from the blade, it's hard to get real close and line up goatees. But if I was a clean shaver, You never know. It wouldn't matter. And I may be clean shaven again one of these days. I've thought about taking the goatee off and letting it grow back. I just don't want to know if I do it before I get my kids because it's a lot of change. Hair is coming back. And then if I was to lose the goatee, I'd totally look like a different person. Scent strength's medium on this. I'm picking up the smell the entire shave. And that's about right for Noble Otter. Um, my scent's not 100% though, so... When I say 100%, like there are things I've smelled before that when I smell now, they don't smell exactly the same. So maybe my scent could be forever changed. We're gonna give it like that two and a half pass, get that neck area and jawline just to make sure I have a decent close shave. And like right here, you can see it's a little darker. So we'll just try to make sure we get that good. We'll dip the tips. Work it in, splay it. Hope everybody's having a good time. If you got time off from work, enjoying family, doing whatever it is you do. I am off until Tuesday. Good times. We're gonna eat, watch some movies. Something about this time of the year, I just start busting out those John Wayne movies. Haven't watched Hondo yet. That's on the list. I'm not going to mention names. I sent a buddy something in Thailand. And left Nashville. Went to Miami. Now it's in Zurich, Switzerland. And then it's going to Thailand. Explain that to me. 
whatever. Bobby Moffat's working on a custom brush. And I've never had a brush custom made, and this is pretty custom. So, pretty excited about that. This is a nice gentle shaver, and like I said, the only Mula I've ever used or owned, it'll stay in the den. That's for sure. One use, and I tell you, I, I can keep that in the den. You know the drill, rinse up, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Could have been a little closer on the neck right here, but I didn't want to put any pressure because of the irritation I had had. Um, we did use the Samogue. It's a nice little bore brush. I have a Samogue, I have Omegas. You know, those are the two main brands to get your boar in. I think Zenith does boar. I also think Zenith does a lot of horsehair. Queen aftershave splash. When I see Queen, it makes me, especially Queen of Hearts, I'm like, midnight. You know, some Juicy Newton. Playing with the Queen of Hearts. Knowing it ain't really smart. Joker ain't the only fool. Yeah, I can't remember how it goes exactly. Now I'm going to want to listen to the song. When I post it on Instagram, the shave of the day, I'll probably put that song with it. Whew. I think the musk is just keeping it from being that high floral. But it's, it's really nice, guys. I like it. That's, it's, it's good for me. Very good for me. This, cool little razor. Could be a little more efficient. I don't know that it's worth 48 bucks, but I'm, <laughs> the rattle you hear is this thing. But it, it, it's nice, it works. A um, little less efficient than I would like. But it is a smooth shaver. Like I said, 48 bucks. I couldn't get myself to do it back when I saw it on the razor company. But I do like it. <clears throat> I like the looks, man, look at that. Like topography map. It's kind of cool to me. But all right, guys, you know the drill. Uh, what, what, what's the drill? What's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that noti bell, and, you know, we'll catch you next shave. Next shave is Christmas shave. Can you guess what my Christmas, well, you know it's going to have the carp bison. But, you know, we got to do red and green, yo. All right, guys, we'll shave. <laughs> we'll catch you later.